This is the International Soccer Preview and we are Soccer Files Canada. Welcome to Series 17. We're looking at the squads of the 2023 Gold Cup. This is the short version for St. Kitts and Nevis's players. Here we go. Alright, the preliminary and final squad has been released, so now we're able to do part two of this media cast. And for St. Kitts and, and Nevis, it was just a 37-man uh, preliminary squad. They were allowed to select up to 60, but of course uh, a small nation like this probably doesn't even have 60 viable players. So 37-man preliminary squad. And okay, my little experiment with the uh, black background is over because uh, I didn't like the way the highlights looked um, uh, on the highlights I'm about to show. So I'm back to white. And uh, let's uh, begin with the squad then. So uh, Austin Huggins uh, is the manager, and that didn't change in the short time since we did the part one there. So uh, we'll consider him as having made the squad. Uh, goalkeepers, uh, we had Arch uh, Julani Archibald as a uh, definite candidate. So uh, we gave bio information on him in part one. So uh, we're just going to uh, give the names here. Uh, we also explained why we thought um, uh, they were at the level they're at, so a definite candidate. So, for example, he started eight of their nine games uh, since the start of 2022, and that's why we thought he was a definite. Uh, so, if you want that information, uh, you can check out part one. Uh, a likely candidate, Jamal Francis, sometimes called Jamal Jeffers, uh, did make the squad. And our possible candidate, Xander Park, also made the final squad. Um, but our possible but unlikely candidate, Stephen Vibert, uh, didn't make the squad. Uh, I talked in part one about a couple of goalies they were trying out, and a couple of others did make it, but um, did make the preliminary squad, but uh, not Stephen Vibert. So we'll save those uh, for the new candidates at the bottom of the uh, at the bottom of the. Uh, uh, media cast, or at the end, I should say. Okay, central defenders. Um, or we had a definite candidate in Andre Burley, and he did make the squad. And um, we had uh, um, Dijon uh, Simmons as a likely candidate, and he made the squad. And our two, uh, two of the three possible candidates made the squad too. Jamil Ibel and Ezric Nichols. And I got to say, the third candidate, uh, I was uh, more hoping that he'd make the squad because he's a real veteran with the squad. I thought they would uh, possibly honor him by bringing him. But for whatever reason, uh, he was not named even to the preliminary squad. So uh, no room for <laughs> places of honor, I suppose. Okay, so uh, Jamal Ibel and Ezric Nichols the possible candidates who, who are there. And we also have one uh, new candidate uh, just showing up on the list at the very end, and it is Rico Brown. So uh, since we didn't talk about him in part one, I'll quickly introduce him. Uh, he has no caps, and he is 20 years old, and uh, he's he was with Birmingham Youth Club. So we talked in part one about a kind of a connection that... Uh, St. Kitts and Nevis seems to have at Birmingham. Uh, he plays for the club. And actually, uh, he's moving from the youth club to the senior club in July of this year. So another one of those players born in England. And in his case, he hadn't even uh, been on the bench for St. Kitts and Nevis before being named to the preliminary squad. But Rico Brown uh, w does make the uh, Gold Cup there. Okay, for left backs, we had possible candidate um, Raheem Hanley, who did make the squad. Um, possible but unlikely candidate Mikel Hurst. Uh, did make the preliminary squad, but not the final squad. And uh, I thought we had talked about uh, seemingly off the squad William or, or Petrez Williams. Uh, his name wasn't on my list there, but um, I thought we talked about him. Anyway, he uh, doesn't seem to be on the squad because he didn't even make the preliminary squad. Okay, for right-backs, we had a likely candidate in Malik Roberts. 
and Malik Roberts did make the final squad. Um, and we had a player seemingly off the squad in Ordell Fleming, and uh, that proves out because he is not named even to the preliminary squad. And the last event that we looked at was Kareem Harris, who we thought uh, seemed to be off the squad, and that is the case as he was not selected for the preliminary squad either. All right, oh, on to defensive midfielders, where we had two likely candidates, and both of them made it, uh, Raheem Summersall and the veteran Gerard Williams, uh, both selected to the uh, Gold Cup. And then we had two possible candidates. Uh, first one was Mervyn Lewis. Uh, he did make the final squad, but the other possible candidate, Lois Maynard, uh, only made the preliminary squad. Okay, a uh, possible but unlikely candidate, Kimari Rogers. Uh, he did make the uh, preliminary squad, but not the final squad. And then we had a player who seemed to be off the squad, uh, Theo Wharton, having last played in June 2021. Uh, but uh, uh, somewhat oddly uh, made the preliminary squad, but not the final squad. So, seemed to be off the team, but uh, isn't. Uh, if if being named to the preliminary squad is any evidence uh, that he's not fully off the team. But you'd think if he made the preliminary squad, he would also have made the final squad. But who am I to, uh, who am I to judge? Okay, central midfielders. We had a definite candidate in Johannes Mitchum. And uh, Johannes Mitchum did make the uh, final squad there. And that was the only central midfielder we had, surprisingly. So we go to uh, right mid, sorry, we go to left midfielders where we had possible candidate Kalonji Clark. Um, and he only made the preliminary squad, but not the final squad. And Gabon Amory, who we had as possible, but unlikely, uh, didn't even make the preliminary squad. On to right midfielders, we have Definite candidate Omari Sterling James, and uh, we were right in our assessment. He did make the uh, final squad there. And we also have a new candidate, so the second of our new candidates here, and it's Ronaldo Belgrove. So Ronaldo Belgrove, I'll uh, give a little info on because we didn't meet him in part one. And, um, oh, he is um, a left midfielder or sorry a right midfielder and uh, he doesn't have any caps for St. Kitts and Nevis actually uh, uh, was not um, even called up to the bench uh, before he was named to the preliminary squad and uh, he plays for FC Miami in the United States but he did play in St. Kitts and Nevis before that so he is 24 years old and uh, Ronaldo Belgrave, surprisingly, uh, named to the squad there. Uh, now we do move on to left-wingers, and we have Takani Williams as a definite candidate, and he does make the squad. And uh, we have a... And that's it for left-wingers. Uh, for right-wingers, we have a likely candidate in Hazel, uh, Jacob Hazel, and he was selected for the squad. But our possible candidate, uh, Tyrese Shade, uh, only made the preliminary squad, but not the final squad. So even though he was on uh, the Leicester team for five years, um, not making it to this tournament. Okay, uh, among attacking midfielders, we said we would be shocked if uh, Romain Sawyers didn't make it, and he did. Uh, make it to the final squad. And we had a likely candidate also as attacking midfielder in T uh, Tikan Terrell. And he also made the final squad. And those were the only two candidates we had. We didn't have anyone coded as a uh, secondary striker, but we had uh, quite a few forwards. So um, we had start with two likely candidates, Carlos Berti, uh, and Keith Roy Freeman, and both of those uh, make it to the cup. 
and we have Tishan Handley as our first possible candidate. Actually, three possible candidates there, and uh, only one of them made it. So, uh, Rowan Liebert uh, did make the final squad, but the other two, Tishan Handley, and surprisingly, Harry uh, Paneyotu, uh, only named to the preliminary squad. Um, I'm a bit surprised about um, Harrison Paneyotu there. Okay, uh, and finally, uh, our last candidate was uh, Vince Roy Nelson, who we consider seemingly off the squad. And the fact that he was not named even to the preliminary squad suggests that that is true. So we're going to finish out here with just some summaries of information. So first of all, uh, notable non-selections. Sorry, my uh, my uh, computer here is, is kind of reacting slowly. Uh, okay, notable non-selections. Well, there are none. <laughs> uh, everyone who was named to the squad uh, with the exception of a couple of new players, um, were either at the possible or uh, likely or definite level. So um, um, that's that's uh, kind of common when it's a small team because they don't have a large pool to choose from. The closest thing we have to a surprise inclusion, um, so there were really no players who uh, we thought were off the squad or who were possible but unlikely. None of those players uh, selected for the final squad. One of them selected for the preliminary squad was uh, Theo Wharton. So we were a bit surprised. Uh, he seemed to be off the squad. Uh, we were a bit surprised to kind of see him named uh, here. And um, no, we don't need uh, two headlines there. So... Um, uh, new players. So we do have a couple of new players. And uh, we saw Re um, Rico Brown and um, central defender and uh, right midfielder uh, Ronaldo Belgrove. Uh, those two players uh, making the final squad. Uh, they weren't on our list prior to that, and then there were five players, uh, five players who were not on our soccer files uh, lists, and so um, they were only named to the preliminary squad. Though, so we won't go through those names, but um, uh, two of them were goalkeepers, as I as I mentioned in the goalkeeper section. Some of those goalkeepers they were trying out did make it to the preliminary squad. But all in all, uh, very few surprises here for St. Kitts and Nevis, we, uh, bringing who we thought they would bring. And, um, and uh, also lucky in terms of injuries because we have no injuries to report for St. Kitts and Nevis. So um, yes, all of those players uh, were healthy. So that brings us to the end of our look at St. Kitts and Nevis, and I hope I help. Uh, I hope this helps you to enjoy the tournament that much more. All the best.